Hello guys, this is your friend the great lobbyist and I'm back again with this week's edition of GL Tech News. So guys, this has been a crazy busy week for the tech industry which is a clear indication that the industry is getting ready for an extremely busy and an extremely innovative season starting March uh, and moving on to the months forward this year. So, but before we get on to telling you all about what happened in the tech world last week and what's happening in the tech world currently, can I please request you to press the subscribe button and the notification icon if you're watching us on YouTube. If you are watching us on Facebook, like and follow us there and follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well. And across all the platforms, do press the like, share and comment button and leave your thoughts there so that we keep spreading all the love and you keep getting all the notification and I keep getting all the motivation to keep bringing you these amazing videos. So getting straight on to the business, let's start with LG expanding their proprietary web OS smart TV platform to other TV brands. Now, uh, WebOS has been a great platform for LG and now expanding that to uh, other brands is an amazing uh, step taken by LG. Now this has already been used by 20 plus TV manufacturers across the globe and this comes with a great technology partnership with brands like Realtek, Nuance, Siva and Universal Electronics and many many more. So great stuff LG, uh, we're looking forward to some great content on WebOS. Uh, something from the house of Razer, they've launched the, the Keo Pro webcam. Now this is a small little device which connects with USB but delivers you studio quality images and professional level video conferencing with your peers. Now this industry leading quality can call, come in any sort of lighting condition and thanks to its adaptive light sensor and the image fidelity technology and combining ultra sensitive CMOS sensor and Starvis technology as well. Now this all this put together delivers uh, uncompressed full HD videos at of 1080p at 60 frames per second and also gives you a choice of three fields of view which is 103 degrees, 90 degrees and 80 degrees. So great stuff Razer once again uh, populating the peripherals industry with some great product. Uh, Oppo hosted, on the other hand, a flash charging partner conference as, at MWCS, which is Mobile World Congress Shanghai. This was basically attended by some of the leading technology providers from China Telecommunications uh, Technology Labs and where they discussed the flash charging technologies. So let want to see, you know, something, a great output out of this should be that we should be able to get our phones charged in about less than a minute or so. Uh, hopefully, we're keeping our fingers crossed on that. But well done, Oppo, to continue to innovate and taking the leap forward. Uh, next is Lenovo. Lenovo has added additional, uh, uh, you know, variations of the ThinkPad portfolio and expanded that portfolio expansively. They've completely redesigned the X13 and X13 Yoga with the 16 to 10 aspect ratio and also upgraded the displays of T and L series as well. The new ThinkPad mobile workstations um, I have now a great choice of processors and gr graphics and uh, much better displays uh, which are available now. Now which combining all that with options of 5G and Wi-Fi 6E and full HD webcams, I think ThinkPad laptops are ready to offer some great choices to the consumers. Uh, Lenovo didn't stop it there. They also expanded their, you know, introduced a Think Vision P40W20 monitor, which is the first Thunderbolt 4.0 professional monitor. Now this is a 39.7 inches of monster coming in 21 to 9 aspect ratio and giving you an expansive 5120221160 WUHD resolution. Great stuff. I mean, I've never used uh, a WUHD resolution monitor, so really want to see if uh, Lenovo is going to send this to us and we can test it out and let you know more about it, including some of the ThinkPads preferreds. But do watch out. Uh, we have something interesting from the ThinkPad portfolio coming up very soon. So yeah, watch out that this space, like and follow us here, subscribe our channel and you will get to see it as well. Now, we spoke about uh, a brand partnership uh, between a motorsport company. Now Acer and Sober Motorsports have continued their partnership till for 2021. Now Acer will continue to provide them technology to power and connect the team both on the track and also at Sober uh, Henville HQ. Now, they will have an ambitious market marketing campaign with Alfa Romeo Racing, Alden Driver, Kimi Raikkonen, 
uh, now this technology means military grade acer enduro products which are rugged and durable and making sure that the on track and off track race uh, operations of Sauger are absolutely to the tech um, Huawei is not going to be left behind. One of our brands which is most active, Huawei has announced the launch of Mate X2. Now this is their for, you know, very wonderful looking foldable uh, device. Now this combines uh, ultra vision, Licia quad cam, dual speakers and carry 9000 5G chipset. Now this is a seamless foldable design. It folds perfectly into a very compact shape, great smooth corner, dual screen display. The inner display is about 18 inches, which is probably the largest uh, of its kind in the industry. And um, you know, another innovation that they've integrated is a multi-dimensional hinge. Now, from the rumor mill from a few years back, now this is a hinge which uh, Huawei has been working to perfect for over five years. Now, this is the device we want to get our hands on. This is a device we want to review and tell you all about it. And also on top of it, this comes with a 4000 mAh battery as well. So great stuff, Huawei. We're really looking forward to see this device here in UAE. But when you talk about mobility and Huawei, they have definitely expanded their MatePad tablet lineup in the UAE. Now, the new lineup has Wi-Fi 6, 10.4 uh, inches of full view display, eye protection features, follow cam, carry an 810, uh, this makes it perfect for learning and entertainment you know specifically when you're getting a 2k uh, which is 2000 to 1200 resolution uh, you know great stuff i mean uh, and and they're coming in two variants 128 gb which is priced normally at 1299 and comes with a smart keyboard as a gift as well which is a 449 dirham worth of gift amazing stuff it also comes in a 64 gb variant which variant which is going to go on shelf on 18th of march though but will be priced at 1099 dirhams so guys this is all for the tech news this week and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow and the day after and the day after with many other tech videos to come so keep keep watching follow and subscribe us and let us know if you have any questions any thoughts any inputs and we'll be able to answer them this is your friend the great lobbyist signing off with gl tech news of this week keep yourself safe peace